What's up, guys? Time to show off a new Kraken build. Um, a couple things that I haven't done in a minute. One being using a polished case. Um, I just did one for a buddy waiting on an insert for him, but he wanted a polished case, and I had another one sitting there that I had to polish because keeping these things pristine is, is a little rough. And when, even when they come in, they're a little bit nicked up, so I had to sit there with a the Cape Cod cloth on his, and I had another one sitting there that I was going to send off to be Cerakoted and bead blasted and such, and I thought, you know what? I'm watching a movie. Maybe I'll just do that with this one as well. So I polished up all the marring that was around the side of this, and uh, thought, let's just put a watch with it. So I happened to have um, already seeded this orange uh, diver insert into this polished aggressive shark tooth bezel. And you can only use these on certain cases where they don't really uh, dwarf the, the case. So with these extended lugs and the crown guards coming out, I thought this went perfect on that. So, put that on there. Since that was done up in orange, I thought, well, I'll do some uh, orange Moldova hands in here. Grabbed one of my uh, backside fully lasered uh, Kraken dials. And then I ordered in some glass inserts. You've got your orange insert here. Some of these are working well. Some of them are not working well. A lot of times when I press the glass, um, these give a tighter um, glass seal for water tightness but sometimes they're so tight when I press the glass and they shoot out the back or like it was so tight it had to remove that piece and getting it back in would require pressing the glass back out fitting that back into the glass and then trying to repress it again without destroying anything on the acrylic glass which is pretty much impossible so when they pop out, I just try them on a new piece of glass another time. This one actually stayed in. I tried to do it with two other ones. They didn't work out for me. Um, so this one actually has an orange glass insert in there. Set of orange hands. Got your Kraken engraved crown. And then since this was polished, um, so I'm on his I'm doing a beads of rice for him, which is pretty much as full polished as you can get on a band that would fit these cases. But it did have some shark mesh hybrids, which is a mix of your brushed and your polished. And then they come with a brushed clasp. So I swapped out for a Kraken clasp. Got your Kraken across the top, little logo here, BVW. Then I did one of our milled and brushed and engraved case backs. And that ended up being the build, and it actually came out pretty phenomenal. I started to do some different orange leathers, but my orange leather isn't quite the same tone, and I thought, eh, it's clashing just a little bit, so let's just avoid that. Um, bezel will turn left, it'll turn right. It is a tension ring bezel. It's on there decently tight. You can move it, but it's you won't really move it too much on accident. Um, automatic mechanical, so you can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder, but if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it just a little bit. And how you do that is you take the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking. And at that point, you can wind. And a wind is a turn away from you. Turning it towards you doesn't wind it, but it's a lot easier to keep your fingers pacing and just go back and forth. If you do that for four or five seconds before you put it on, that mix with the rotor movement that you can't see back here will keep your time throughout the day. If you're not going to be active at all, driving all day, sitting at a desk all day, just add another 10 seconds or so on that. You don't want to lose time after you have uh, ran out of your power reserve. It's got a 31 hour power reserve on it, so you, uh, you can wind all day if you'd like. Once you're happy with your winding, you're going to pull it to the one and only click, and you can now set your time does not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going in there. And you're also going to notice you've got a wobble crown. This deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement. So when you're pushing and prying on it, you're not putting any adverse pressure against that movement or keyless works. Okay, Google, what time is it? 
1 28 p.m. 1 28 when you're good you're gonna push it over get it out of that time setting okay Google skip and there is your build now I referenced this is backside looms so we'll show off as best as we can in the daytime like whenever I go into the uh, dark room or something like that it's nice and vibrant but just for point of reference in here there you go we also have matching beads and these have some loom beads in the mix as well so these show up just the same And then this is going to come in a, I only had one tone of orange uh, treasure box, and I only had one of them. No one's ever got it until now, so someone's going to get a super safety orange 3D printed Kraken treasure box as your box for the watch. This is going to come with a couple things. This is going to come with your watch cleaner. This is a foamer, good for all glass and metal, so this watch as a whole as well as a microfiber. It's also going to come with a Cape Cod cloth in case you ever do scratch anything on here. Um, I just cut little teeny pieces off. You know, keep this, you don't want it to dry out, right? I think if it dries out, you can add water. Don't quote me on that. Um, directions for use on outer tin. Well, here's the thing, I buy the tin and I get these out and I give them to the people, so there's no instructions but it's probably not hard to find out. But pretty simple for me. I cut a little teeny square out, and I just sit there and I go over it and over it and over it, and it turns black pretty quickly, and flip it over and rub it and rub it and rub it. And about two minutes later, it is gone. And if it's not gone, cut out another little square and do it again for two minutes, and then it's gone. So like, I fixed this case where it was marred in like three places and it probably took me about five minutes total, but I was able to like kind of get all of them in the same passes. And one of them went away and two of them were still there. And I just sat there and worked on them, worked on them, worked on them. And then they were gone. So you'll have a Cape God cloth. And then lastly, you're going to have some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 from Amazon, just repackaged. It's like Poly Watch. It's for your acrylic glass. You can scratch it. If you do, put a tiny bit of this on it and buff it using your color matching microfiber. If the scratch is up and down, go left and right, filling that scratch, haze that scratch, buff it out, and it should be gone. And if it's not, wait a little bit and revisit it because you need to layer it back up, um, what you've scratched out. So light scratches, you should knock out pretty easily. So that's the build. If it's going to you, congrats. I hope you love it. It will fingerprint, so I do a lot of like you know, outsides on here. At least you can kind of like wipe them. Whereas if you get them on there, eh, you can wipe them, but you don't really wipe them. So um, just just the joys of a polished watch. So that's the build. Um, appreciate you a ton. You could be winning it tonight if you do. Congrats. If you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.